Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. It has been a while. My name is Becca. If this is your first time watching me, we recently went on a little vacation to Las Vegas. We did not leave the house in this state, but it quickly became this once we were back home and tired and unpacking and blah, 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 blah. So I took a couple days, this video was filmed over two days, to put things back in order, to clean up a little bit, get back on top of my tasks, and I will say that it has been about a week since I filmed this and the house looks maybe even worse than this right now, but that's okay. It's all a cycle, right? So I started out with the kitchen. As you can see, it was a big job. I had a lot of dishes to do, so that's what I started with. Wonderful. Let's get the air fryer down and back into its cupboard and get the countertops cleaned. Probably my favorite part of this whole process because it's very satisfying once it is completed. I'm not gonna make a whole video about our Vegas trip or anything like that, but I will say that by the end of it, we were so tired of spending money and there is pretty much very few convenient ways to cut corners whenever it comes to spending money in Vegas. We had to rent a mini fridge for $35 a night because the fridge that was already in our room was the mini bar and everything was on a weight plate so even if you just pick it up you get charged things like that add up really fast and are a little bit ridiculous so yeah just a forewarning if you're thinking of going to vegas it was for both of our birthdays my birthday is june 12th jared's was may 31st we went the week of jared's birthday his birthday was on a friday and we were there from monday to thursday beforehand it was really fun but we saw what we needed to see and probably will not be returning. Anyway, I got him a lot of new clothes for his birthday. So I needed to get those washed so he could wear them. And I did follow the instructions on the black jeans to turn them inside out and wash them on cold, of course, but I did not follow the instruction to do them separately the first time they were washed. And as you will see, and as I came to discover, that was a mistake, shouldn't have done that. We are not a household that separates by lights darks and colors, but for dark pieces that are brand new, probably it should be. So this is me realizing that I discolored his sweatshirt, but it's okay, it's still wearable. It's just kind of gray instead of cream now. Yeah, anyway, lesson learned. Also, does anybody else's husband wear socks until they are holy and then continues to wear them? Yep, mine does too. And you know what? Since I do the laundry, I get to throw them away. <laughs> Okay, so back in the kitchen, I believe that this is the next day because I have on a different shirt. I unloaded the dishwasher that I had done, and as you can see in the sink, there are already a million more dishes to be loaded. So, have to get everything unloaded first, reload the dishwasher, and then there were a few things I needed to wash by hand, like the crock pot, the actual pot part, the insert. Had some scorched on Alfredo sauce, I think, that I had run through the dishwasher already, but it didn't come off the first time. So I needed to wash that by hand. We had mules one night, so I needed to wash the copper cups by hand. And then our knives are hand wash only as well. So I usually put those things off until the last possible second, until we have no more knives or until I can't stand the mess anymore. And then I'll hand wash everything. And so that's what I did. Today we took care of that. And then I used my new scrubber brush thing. Finally, I put some soap in it and scrubbed down the sink really nice. And 
And then I looked over and saw that I had this little spice container bottle of blackened seasoning that I wanted to get into my spice rack. And of course I have the special uh, pretty little containers for that. However, there was no sticker for blackened seasoning and there are blank stickers that come with it, which I went ahead and put one on, but I could not find the white marker that it came with. I probably threw it away to be honest, but at least I know it's blackened seasoning and who else is gonna come into my kitchen and use blackened seasoning, you know? Also went ahead and filled up the salt container Okay, so I try to do everything in my power not to sweep. I don't like sweeping. It's not fun and also does, I mean, similarly to vacuuming. However, since the dogs are shedding their winter coats, there is so much dog hair. I mean, it's impossible to keep up with. So I swept and then I went in and vacuumed to get, try to get as much debris and dirt and dust and dog hair up as possible. I did not steam mop in this video because it had been super rainy for days and was gonna continue to be and the dogs go outside and then just bring back wet paw prints. So I didn't steam mop, but I did sweep and vacuum and you'll see the vacuum at the end and it still needed to be vacuumed because I picked up so much stuff, which also did the rug. And of course I can't sweep a rug. So a lot of the hair came out of that, but there was so much left over even after I swept. This coffee table was a long time coming. We left it cluttered. It had been cluttered for, I don't know, probably about a month. I had books that I had finished on it, pill container that didn't have any pills in it anymore on my laptop, a bunch of random dishes and clutter and paper towels and yeah, you get the idea. So I started out by taking everything off of it and then gave it a good clean. It was super dog hairy and it had an old ice cream. <laughs> stain on it that I needed to get up. So I actually cleaned this with glass cleaner. I don't know if you're supposed to or not. It's resin, but uh, it works well. I think that it makes it pretty clear. So did that. Got the old blankets into the wash and went ahead and vacuumed the rug after I had cleared the coffee table and moved it out of the way. And yeah, you're gonna see how much hair. Oh my gosh, shock horror. Moved the coffee table back and felt pretty pleased with myself. Isn't it so funny watching Micah walk over the couch like that? <laughs> sat down for a break and to say bye to you guys and the dogs took that as their sign to attack um yeah so cute love them so much anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed thanks so much for being here and i'll see you in the next one bye